What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great evening. It's Saturday night. It is the eve of the Super Bowl. And the funny thing is, I think I finally wore out the 49er fans. They don't come around so much because I've been ignoring them. Okay, congratulations. You're going to the Super Bowl. Have fun tomorrow. I don't care. I don't care. I've got my own shit fest to deal with with the Dallas Cowboys. And I'm going to ask, this is a real question. This is a real question for you guys. Let's suppose, let's suppose you had a quarterback that had a season of 68% completions, 5,477 yards, 55 TDs, and 10 interceptions with a 115 rating. Or you could have a quarterback who had a 59.8% completion percentage, 2,249 yards, nine TDs, 17 interceptions, and a rating of, wait for it, 67.9. Which season would you take? Which one? Raise your hand if it would be the nine TDs and 17 interceptions. Because you're like, what are you talking about? Let me put it another way. Peyton Manning threw for 55 TDs. 5,477 yards. And they didn't win the Super Bowl. In fact, they got blown out like 48 to like 8 or 43 to 8. But Peyton Manning, two years later, 9 TD, 17 interceptions. They win the Super Bowl against the Carolina Panthers, who were 15 and 1. So was Peyton Manning a loser? Did he suck ass because they didn't win the Super Bowl that year? But he was a great quarterback the year they did. Here's the thing that's kind of interesting. The roles were almost reversed. In that year that they got blown out in the Super Bowl, they had the number one offense. They were about 17, 18 as far as defense went, they had some really great players like a a team to lead uh, You had Von Miller and things. And what they did was they went out and they got themselves a DeMarcus Ware to go opposite of Von Miller. Their defense ended up being one of the best defenses in football. Brock Osweiler ended up having to start like um, five games or so for Peyton Manning. Their offense was suspect, to say the least. Peyton Manning was a shell of himself. But it was getting the defender that was a incredible defender another one on the other side. See, that was the problem with the Cowboys – when we had DeMarcus Ware. D Ware, incredible talent, incredible seasons. But the problem was, we didn't have the rest of the guys to go with them. I'll put DeMarcus Ware against almost any edge rusher out there. He didn't win it until he teamed up with another great edge rusher. And see, herein lies the problem. You could look and say, Denver, you sucked ass because your quarterback stunk. He didn't win it. That's the way Cowboy fans look at it when we talk about Dak Prescott. And the amazing thing is, throughout Peyton Manning's career, almost every year he was the best quarterback in football. But they weren't winning it. They didn't win it until their defense got hot in the playoffs and helped their quarterback. So here's the thing. I blame the Cowboys for not showing up. 
losing to Green Bay. They should not have lost to Green Bay. Don't get it twisted. We should not have lost to Green Bay Packers. But we didn't have the horses in the game, honestly, to continue with the other better teams. We just didn't. We didn't, and we still don't. We can't look at this and just say, well, we got one good player, so we'll put some you know, average or below average ones or inexperienced ones, and we're going to win. You had Peyton Manning with 55 touchdown passes. 55! One of the best quarterbacks in football. And they could not win the Super Bowl. They could not win the Super Bowl until they got the defense together. And here's the thing that's kind of crazy because as good as that year was, what they got, what they got was a running game going. They got Ronnie Hillman. He had 863 yards. They got C.J. Anderson, 720 yards. And, you know, they ended up being good and balanced with running the football as they were with the pass. The pass wasn't great. But what they were able to do is, by being able to run the football, control the clock, the tempo, and be opportunistic with the defense. That's the model we have to understand. So when we were doing our our call-in live stream, and somebody asked me, how will Mike Zimmer do? Now, first thing, Mike Zimmer's not a done deal yet. You know, it was Thursday night that they were announcing, oh, he's going to be the coach. There's a little snag with the money situation, it seems, that they're trying to work through. Maybe by Monday they have it worked out, but this is Catboy at his finest. Now, as we... It's about uh, 7 o'clock right now. It'll be the NFL commissioner's party starting out in about another hour or so. So all the teams will have the team tables and stuff. They'll have some guest, you know, star and things like that there. It will be, you know, camp uh, champagne, caviar, and everything else. It will be the party to be at if you're somebody the NFL commissioner party. It's not as much fun as the, the NFL PA party because that one's live. The other one's a little bit dry. It's a little bit dry. I'm a lot of older people. Be that as it may, after they get wined and dined and everything else, they'll probably get that thing uh, worked out. But the point I'm trying to make here is Peyton Manning didn't win that Super Bowl. It wasn't the quarterback that won it. It was that defense of having DeMarcus Ware and Von Miller, as well as um, some of the other players. They had like four players that were uh, pro bowlers on the defense. It was that running game. It was not Peyton Manning. And as great as Peyton Manning was, with 55 TDs and only like 11 interceptions, with the 115 rating, they could not. He could not put them on his back and will them to win by himself. And see, that's the thing about football that you have to understand. It's not just about the quarterback. you got to have a good quarterback. You've got to have a good quarterback. But you've also got to be able to run the football. You've also got to be able to stop the other team and keep them from being able to run. And this is an example of what the Cowboys need to do. You've got your Von Miller. you got your Von Miller right here. What you need now is your DeMarcus Ware on the other side. you got the defensive secondary. you got to get your linebackers. If you get another guy that people have to worry about, and I had hoped, here's the thing I had hoped. You know, first we had Randy Gregory. We thought, okay, Randy's coming along. Maybe he can finally stay out of trouble. He never became that guy. When we drafted Sam Williams, I looked at his side, his speed. I said, maybe that guy can be that guy, that number two, the Robin, that other guy that you have to worry about. It hasn't happened. Dorrance Armstrong, he's a good player. He's a good role player, but he's not that Robin that we need to go with Micah Parsons. 
And that's what you have to understand. Because even as great as Lawrence Taylor was, he had like guys like Carl Banks on the other side that were also there that you had to worry about. If you could shut down Lawrence Taylor, you had to worry about Carl Banks. And because you had to worry about Carl Banks, you couldn't solely focus on Lawrence Taylor. And that's where they get you. You've got to be able to attack people from a multitude of directions. That's football 101, people. It's not about just one position. You've got to be able to hit them from all the different directions. I'm trying to educate. I'm trying to teach. Doesn't seem to soak in much, though. Hope everybody's having a great night. Tomorrow is Super Bowl Sunday, and uh, yeah, it sucks. It sucks that we're not in it. Have a good night.